few days, you're going to be the human component in the Turing test. One day, the AIs are going to look back on us the same way we look at fossils. Hello. What is artificial intelligence? The demand for faster, more energy-efficient data processing with no human error is increasing at an exponential rate. These demands are too much for traditional digital processing technology to handle. That is why scientists are looking to the human brain for ideas on how to achieve comprehensive artificial intelligence. However, as seen in many sci-fi movies, AI can go horribly wrong and cause havoc. As a result, not everyone is in favor of finding ways to make machines self-sufficient. You might be confused as well about whether AI is a good thing or not. Don't worry, watch the video till the end as we will tell you everything you need to know about AI, and then tell us what you think about it. Artificial intelligence is the development and management of technology that can learn on its own to make judgments and carry out all kinds of activities on behalf of humans. AI refers to a wide range of technology and is a catch-all word for a variety of software and hardware components that assist machine learning, computer vision, natural language understanding, and natural language processing. AI is frequently used in the development of systems that have human-like cognitive functions, such as the ability to reason, discover meaning, generalize, and learn from previous experiences. For many AI researchers, the creation of a machine with human-level intelligence that can be applied to work is of the highest importance, and their hunt for AI supremacy seems to succeeding with robots like Amica and Sophia. First mentioned in 1956, AI has progressed massively since then due to increased data volumes, improved algorithms, and advances in computer power and storage. At that time, early AI research was focused on problem-solving and symbolic approach. That improved in the 1960s when the U.S. Department of Defense grew interested in this type of research and began teaching computers to mimic basic human reasoning. The Defense Advanced Research Programs Agency completed street mapping projects throughout the 1970s. DARPA then developed intelligent personal assistance in 2003, long before Siri, Alexa, or Cortana became popular names. This revolutionary study opened the path for today's computers, such as decision support systems and smart search engines, to automate and codify thinking in ways that complement and increase human capabilities. AI employs the same algorithmic processes that traditional software does, but in a much more different way. The most innovative component of AI is that it allows software to adapt to its surroundings by rewriting itself. This can help in allowing AI to take over an entire system, making all decisions from start to finish. The world is more or less oblivious from the fact that we are already surrounded by AI. Have you ever thought how Siri on your phone can search practically everything you ask her to look for? Or how your social media feeds start showing the same things you search on Google? All of this is because of artificial intelligence. Artificial intelligence is not as simple as it is looking. It is divided into different types, such as narrow AI, machine learning, and deep learning. By far the most successful implementation of AI so far, Narrow AI has made major accomplishments in the recent decade as a result of its emphasis on executing certain tasks, which have had considerable societal advantages and contributed to human economic life. Narrow AI is responsible for the working of Google Search, image recognition software, Siri, Alexa and other personal assistants, self-driving cars, and IBM Watson. Machine learning and deep learning advancements are at the heart of narrow AI. Understanding the difference between artificial intelligence, machine learning, and deep learning can sometimes be very confusing. To put it in a simple way, machine learning feeds a computer data and uses statistical techniques to teach it how to get better at a task without being specially designed for it, obviating the need for millions of lines of written code with both supervised and unsupervised learnings being used in machine learning. 
While deep learning is a sort of machine learning that processes data through a neural network design inspired by biology. The data is processed through a number of hidden layers in the neural networks, which allows the machine to delve deep in its learning, creating connections and weighing input for the best outcomes. Despite these advances, AI is still in its infancy, and many academics are working hard to produce breakthroughs that will prove revolutionary in a variety of sectors. Improving patient outcomes and lowering healthcare costs are two of the most important things researchers are striving for. Machine learning is being used by healthcare businesses to make better and faster diagnoses. One of the most well-known example of this is IBM Watson. Their AI machine has the ability to understand and react to questions in normal language. To build a proposition, the system mines patient data and other available data sources, which it then provides with a confidence grading schema. Many other AI virtual health assistants and chatbots are providing aid to patients and healthcare customers in locating medical information, scheduling appointments, comprehending the billing process, and completing other administrative tasks. AI is also being employed in education. AI is helping educators save time by automating grading and providing them the ability to analyze students and adjust according to their needs, allowing them to work at their own pace. Students can get extra help from AI tutors who can help them remain on course and adjust where and how they learn. While the education system is implementing AI, banks are not behind. Banks are implementing AI assistance to assist their customers. Chatbots are being used to inform customers about services and offerings, as well as to execute transactions that do not require human participation. Virtual assistants powered by artificial intelligence are being used to improve and lower the costs of banking regulatory compliance. AI is also being used by banking institutions to improve loan decision-making, set credit limits, and identify investment opportunities. AI and machine learning has a big role to play in security and safety of different businesses. Major corporations are utilizing AI to protect themselves from viruses and hackers. To detect abnormalities and suspicious actions that suggest dangers, organizations utilize machine learning in security information and event management software. AI can detect new and emerging attacks far faster than humans or traditional technology by evaluating data and applying logic to find similarities to known harmful code, thus helping enterprises in their fight against cyber attacks. The summit of AI is widely seen as the creation of machines that are as clever as humans and even more. AI is evolving rapidly as a result of its capacity to absorb massive amounts of data faster than humans and make more accurate predictions. It is quite obvious that, despite all of the negativity surrounding AI, there is no denying that AI is the future. So now that you are familiar with AI, what do you think about it and its future? Tell us in the comments section below, and if you enjoyed this informational video, make sure to hit the like button, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more amazing videos like this in the future.